One of the things it seems like kids deal with a lot these days are allergies or skin rashes or allergies to foods, environmental allergies. So what is an allergic response really? It is the immune system responding to a foreign invader. Now sometimes that's good, right? A bacteria, a virus, a harmful chemical, things that our immune system is our defense system and we want it to work and if it doesn't work, we get in trouble, right? With this recent COVID-19 where there's been tons of talk, people have been more interested in the immune system than ever. And we want it to work properly to defend us. We don't want it to overwork where it almost attacks us, right? Some people will be allergic to grass. I was allergic to, when I was a kid, I had terrible allergies, I got tested, I was allergic to the outdoors, right? Trees, grass, anything out there. Later I found out, and that's what I'm gonna talk about here, that there was a problem really with my nervous system. Uh, it's the same thing with foods, right? We should be able to eat a peanut or other things without a horrible reaction uh, or without skin reactions like eczema and things like that. So the immune system is its own system, but it's largely controlled by the nervous system. The nervous system is our brain, our spinal cord, and, and all the nerves that go with it, and that's really the thing that controls every system in the body. It's, it's the master system for them all. Without it, nothing else works properly. So if the, immune, the nervous system is communicating with the immune system properly, we should be defended against the things that we should be defended against, and we should be okay with other things that our body was designed to be around and deal with. So what we find, and especially with kids, right, we have birth, they come out, it's hard to get out of the birth canal or a C-section without some kind of pressure on the spine. And then when kids learn to walk, they fall constantly, right? They're tipping over one way or the other, they're whacking their head, or they learn to run, and then they slam right into something. So there's a lot of options for the little ones to kind of jam the neck up. And the primary place we look is the upper part of the neck. It's really the weakest part of the spine, smallest bones, most freely movable. And neurologically, it's the most important because it's the connection between our head and our body. So if we get pressure there, that communication between the brain and body is gonna break down. If that breaks down, there's a chance the immune system is gonna break down, that communication is gonna break down, and suddenly our body is attacking things that it doesn't need to attack. We get immune response, whether that's, again, skin rashes, maybe it's asthma, our lungs are almost into a spasm, um, it's food allergies, whatever that may be. So what we do is we evaluate, is there pressure on the spine? We reduce that or we remove that, and then we find very often that the allergies go away. Again, like I said about myself, horrible allergies all the way up into my early 30s. That's when I found out I had a big misalignment up here in the top of my neck. I got that corrected, we took the pressure off. Now allergies aren't something I really deal with at all. So if you have a child or no one, uh, parents that are dealing with that, have them come in. It's a very simple thing to test out. The adjustment itself, no twist, turn, pop, crack. We don't do that on anybody. But with kids, it's really, really gentle, really specific, uh, and they tend to respond really, really quickly.